Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. Today we are going to start a new chapter for class 8 ICSC, chapter number 8, India Geographical Features. So currently I am using the book called Goyal Brothers. If you are using other books, other publication books of class 8 ICSC, you can also view this video. Starting with the video, so let me look at the introduction of India. So, we have read in the preamble of, your, of our constitution in class 7th history, right? So, India officially known as the Sovereign Socialist Secular Democratic Republic of India. It's the world 7th largest country. So, we know that India is a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic and republic. Uh, republic of India. In preamble also it is, it is mentioned. Right. And India is the 7th largest continent, sorry, 7th largest country, right. So, it has varied landscape. Landscape means varied physical features. It is rich in natural lands, landscape with beautiful natural resources, right. It has very good natural resources. Let me look at the location and extent of India. So, we all know that. Its latitude and longitudinal extent is appro approximately 8 degree north to 37 degree north. So, in Asia, we have learnt about latitudinal and longitudinal extent. In Asia, we know that uh, it extends from 10 degree south to 80 degree north and longitudinally 25, uh, 25 degree east to 170 degree west. And in India, it extends latitudinally this much, 8 degree north to 37 degree north. And longitudinally, 68 degree east to 97 degree east. So, this Andaman and Nicobar Islands, so I am going to show you in the map. So, first let me show you the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of Asia. So, the latitudinal extent of Asia is 8 degree north. 8 degree north to, to here it is there no 37 degree north. What is this? This is the latitudinal extent. And longitudinal extent is 68 degree east. See 68 degree east up to fully discovering right. Up to the run of Kutch and everything. And 68 degree east to 97 degree east. Fully discovering up to the end. End of the end of the country India. Means up to the Arunachal Pradesh it is covering. So latitudinally, latitudinally extension from 8 degree north to the 68 that sorry 37 degree north. And longitudinally 68 degree east to 97, 97 degree east so uh, i'm going to show the andaman and nicobar island so here so due to this andaman and nicobar island it also extend further southward it makes the longitudinal latitudinal extent further southward that is latitudinal extent Mean, means due to the presence of andaman and nicobar still the latitudinal extent is extended right so the north south extent of mainland india from kashmir in the north to the Kanyakumari in the south is 3214 kilometers. Let me show you on the map. Here from Kashmir, so the Kashmir, here is the Kashmir to the Kanyakumari. This is the southernmost tip, the Kanyakumari. So up to here the extent, so the kilometer is 3214 kilometer. Means from Kashmir to the southernmost tip that is Kanyakumari. Kanyakumari is here. This is the southernmost tip of India. And northernmost is Kashmir. From year to year, it is 3114 km. This is the north-south extent. So, coming to the uh, west to east, means from here to the Arunachal Pradesh, here somewhere. So, let me see how much it covers, right? So, here from the run of Kutch to the Arunachal Pradesh, the east Arunachal Pradesh, from year to year, it extends, let me write here, how much kilometer it extends, 2,933 
k m kilometer let me see am i right uh, yes so from the run of kutch to the west of arunachal pradesh it is 2933 as i told you years run of kutch is there here what arunachal pradesh from year to year to year it is 2933 km from year to year means kashmir to kanyakumari it is 3214 km clear i hope it must be clear so you should remember that okay the length of the coastline along the peninsula of india is about 6100 km let me show you on the map what is meant by uh, coastline in the peninsula of india so the green color which is mentioned which is applied is known as the peninsular india sorry it is known as the coastal region let me write it coastal regions so all the green dark green sorry uh, i don't know colors so this color which green green this is called the coastal regions so how much it extends it extends 6100 km 6100 so if you measure this it is 6100 km yes it is where it has gone ah, 6100 km the coastal line of peninsular india so what is peninsular india this one only this up to here it will cover so this and all is the peninsular india so below pen below the narmada this is the deccan okay this is the deccan deccan india so the tropic of cancer tropic of cancer 23 and half degree north passes to the middle of the country dividing it into two latitude of northern northern temperate and the southern tropical lands it passes through the state of madhya pradesh covering the longest distance so here yeah, the tropic of cancer which is passing the dot dot lines it divides into two half in which this tropic of cancer passes through the state of madhya pradesh more okay state of madhya pradesh more okay the cape cod am in the tamil nadu near the kanyakumari is the southernmost tip of india which is the southernmost tip of india question is there so it is cape cod akin in tamil nadu it is near it is to the kanyakumari we usually say kanyakumari is the southernmost tip yes you can say but specifically asking cape cod akin cape cod 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 rin okay okay so this is the southernmost tip of india it is located in kanyakumari if we say kanyakumari also it is okay but now uh, mentioning this is better india takes its standard time from 22 degree 82 and half degree east meridian which passes through allahabad indian standard time ist is 5 hour hired of the greenwich mean time gmt as it is situated to the east of greenwich meridian let me see uh, st- uh, show where is standard time is taken where is standard time is located in the map so here here you can see here dot 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 dot, dot line it is mentioned 82 and half degree east okay that is of standard time okay which passes through the country of uh, sorry state of allahabad okay so okay this is of what standard meridian which passes through the state of allahabad let me see the third topic that is boundaries and neighboring countries of india indian peninsula is bounded by three side by arabian sea indian ocean and bay of bengal so here what is this as i told you this is of peninsula india it is bounded by three side water okay three side that is of arabian indian and bay of bengal okay in the north india it is separated from the rest of the asia by mountain wall the great himalayas here the great himalayas are there right it separate the northern country from india uh, this is an himalaya it likes as a boundary for us right in india is internationally bounded are formed by soft himalayas and its offshore in the north northwest and northeast offshore means what offshore means lands right uh in the south southwest southeast it coast is washed by indian ocean arabian sea and bay of bengal 
in south southeast where southeast southwest it is bounded by indian ocean bay of bengal arabian sea respectively sorry uh, yes in the south southeast south west it is bounded by indian ocean bay of bengal and arabian sea respectively right uh, our next immediate neighbors are china nepal bhutan in the north right so china nepal bhutan is in the north our neighboring countries east the nepal crosses sikkim in the bhutan at the easternmost point of the indian border is the east tri junction where india china and myanmar meet so this is the tri junction this is the tri junction in which myanmar china and india this is the tri junction tri means three which are the three country this is a tri junction in which india myanmar china meets clear bangladesh is bordered on three side by india bangladesh where is bangladesh here bangladesh is there let me rub all these things so here the bangladesh is there it is bounded by three side by india only this bangladesh to the east lies the myanmar so to the east of our india lies the myanmar to the west of west our immediate neighbors to this side our immediate neighbors comes to the east sorry to the west side the to the east side there is china nepal bhutan right bangladesh okay and to the west there is pakistan right pakistan is our neighbor in the which west so pakistan is also the part of india but but now after past uh, partition of the country in 1947 before 1947 in pakistan and india were both called india only but after the partition when the british made the partition you, you may already read in the history in 1947 Pakistan only became one country, one country. India only became one country. Political divisions of India, state and capitals, right? India is divided into twenty-eight states, nine union territories, including Delhi, right? Delhi is given the status of national capital region, national or national capital territory. Okay, it's very important points. It may also come for your UPSC exam. If your uh, dream is to become a UPS IAS officer, IPS officer, you can uh, easily get some more information, more information from this. The present political divisions of India into the state and union territories is on the basis of various factors like geography, population, local culture, and languages. The state and the union territories are further divided into districts, tahsils, managed by the state government. So the state are further divided into districts, and each and tahsils, and each is managed by the state governors. The new states Uttarakhand, Jharkhand, and Chhattisgarh were created from Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and Madhya Pradesh respectively. So means Uttar Pradesh is there now. Uttar Pradesh is is formed from Uttarakhand. okay uttar pradesh formed uttarakhand means from uttar pradesh only uttarakhand emerged and from the bihar only new continent a new country is made jharkhand jharkhand was new country me sorry new state made madhya pradesh from madhya pradesh chitisgarh a new state was created right from uttar uttar pradesh uttarakhand the new state created from bihar chati Uh, jharkhand a new state created from madhya pradesh chatisgarh a new state created so so telangana was created out of arunachal pradesh in 2014 so uh, uttarakhand was created out of chatisgarh sorry out of uttar pradesh jharkhand was created out of bihar and uh, chatisgarh was created out of madhya pradesh telangana was created out of andhra pradesh means if this is in andhra pradesh telangana was created out it was also a small state which is which is taken from the andhra pradesh you can understand like this okay like this only if this is a madhya pradesh uh, sorry if this is a uh, uttar pradesh uttarakhand is a small state taken from the uttar pradesh if this is a bihar 
this is bihar old bihar jharkhand was a small state which is new state which is taken from this bihar okay in 2000 in 2019 in 2019 state of jammu and kashmir was bifurcated into two union territories j and k and ladakh so in 2019 what happened jammu and kashmir bifurcated means split into two what ut union territories the first is j and k jammu and kashmir and ladakh these are the two union territories which has been split in 2019 as per the 2011 census uttar pradesh is most populated indian state accounting for 16.449% of the total population sikkim has the lowest population area wise rajasthan is the largest while the goa is the smallest so the highest population is uttar pradesh and lowest is sikkim so the density wise arunachal pradesh has lowest density of population density means if this is a land how much person is living per square kilometer so arunachal pradesh is lowest density because only 17 persons persons are living in a square kilometer are living in a one square kilometer and the bihar as the highest density of population means 1102 pop persons are living per square kilometer so per square kilometer this much persons are living but in the state of arunachal pradesh only 17 persons are living in the square kilometer okay as per the 2011 census i hope this understand remember which is the highest and lowest population and i also remember which is the highest and lowest population by density wise you may confused if they ask highest population you should say which uttar pradesh if they ask highest population in the density wise you should say which uh, bihar okay like this only depend upon lowest lowest is lowest population is sikkim but lowest population in density wise which arunachal pradesh right so density wise okay do not confuse by using that okay we will start a physiographic division of india in the next part of video still then stay tuned please subscribe to this channel and encourage uh, this will encourage me to make the more videos like this thank you